Hi everybody. Uh, today I continue with uh, a string char and array in uh, Kotlin. Uh, now let's start with the previous lesson. And uh, uh, now we do not need to use this co code line. So comment out this. Uh, and I continue with uh, uh, the first line. Uh, let's start with the um, character or char. Uh, char means character or one string. Only only one string. Uh, then we define a character. Remember that do not use the double quoted because double quoted is used for string. Then uh, uh, what about the character? You have to change it to a single to single quoted. Okay, change to single, uh, single quoted, uh, and uh, I run again. Okay. Uh, okay, successful. Uh, now you want to uh, find some of the UTF-8 character set. And you click to this website. Uh, we have uh, some of the special character. And uh, uh, for example, I want to use this uh, one character or copyright or the copyright character. You copy the code and paste to here command this to use and then the c uh, is assigned to u u mean unicode so slash u is a uh, unicode uh, and you copy uh, the code and you copy the number of the code uh, to here you paste the number of code to here uh, and you can print out to the screen copyright char is equal to dollar c Okay, C is a, a character variable. Any run? Okay, you see that it is a special character. How to display uh, a special character in the output uh, console log of uh, the Kotlin? So, uh, if you have the name, name is a string that contain multiple uh, character in sizes, and you want to print out each of the character. Uh, inside the string so you for loop to loop on the character inside the string uh, then print out the each character then each character here is uh, some character in the string and you run okay so we we have we see that each character is h o a n g okay uh, this is very convenient if you want to pass a string and then uh, uh, check for some of the special character or specific character. Um, for example, now we have a string, uh, an array of string. So uh, we have an array of string. Remember that the string has the double quoted. The double quotes uh, represent a string. Okay, so we have a, an array of string and a b c d for example and now i want to uh, to loop on string in an array i use the syntax as a loop character in an uh, in a string so uh, use print now and c okay so we have a string a b c and d to display all the string in an array okay so uh, it is similar to the string, uh, uh, the array of uh, integral, array of float, tuple, and uh, we have another array of integer, uh, integer, integer. We have uh, a size is a five, and this is a function. Uh, it called a no name function or uh, the anonymous function. The the anonymous function uh, has a. Uh, uh, Input and the implementation. The input is I, and the implementation is calculating uh, two um, uh, two and times with I, okay, multiply by I, and this is the implement of a no name function or an anonymous function. Then uh, after doing this, we have a uh, an array of integer uh, and the value is 0, 2, 4, etc. Uh, so you uh, pass 
and loop on the element inside uh, the uh, array and the array and I print out to the screen okay so we have uh, the value is in number 0, 2, 4, uh, 6 and 8 it is uh, uh, multiplied by 2 okay and remember that the use of this uh, anonymous function is a very important when you want to uh, pass and change the value here up uh, an item in an array so uh, now start with uh, the text how to display a text with multiple line we have a uh, two three four five lines and this is the um, three double quoted is start and end up and uh, up uh, the uh, string with multiple line and you print out the screen you see that we have uh, two line line one line two and remember to use it but here I have uh, a com a complex a more complex uh, we have uh, multiple information and we start with a uh, uh, this character about one character maybe any character but choose a special uh, special characters uh, because you use this uh, to three marking and you mark in by the prefix the prefix means in left left is prefix uh, of the string so you remove this by trimming you call the trim function to remove unnecessary uh, string and we see that uh, the special uh, string is removed uh, depending on the stream marking uh, so use a stream marking to uh, remove some of unnecessary uh, string inside a large string okay